Hello everyone, this is Judy coming to you from my scrapbook loft, and I have been tagged to do Tis the Season to Get Crafty questions that was originated by Alicia Wagman at Wagman 510. And um, I was tagged on October the 31st, but I'm behind on videos, and last night I was trying to catch up and was watching Crafty Beginnings, and she tagged me, and I didn't even know it, so um, I apologize for not doing it sooner, but uh, I'll get to it today. But before I get started, I just want to say, um, Sabrina, I hope you're feeling better, and you're in my prayers for a quick recovery, healing, and Alicia Wagman. Uh, I know your immune system is down, and there in Canada, it's pretty cold. It's cold here in Kentucky, but anyway, um, you uh, take care of yourself now. You're in my prayers, and your mom is in my prayers. Pat Sweeney, you're in my prayers, and Anna Stratus, I hope you're feeling better. Uh, Shayla, Country Girl First, I hope you're getting better. Um, if I've missed you, you've been sick. Um, I am sorry you are in my prayers. I have a list by my bed. So, um, uh, anyway, you're in my prayers. And so, now we will get started with the Tis the Season to Get Crafty. What color or color palette are you using for the holidays? I'm going to, I'm using the traditional uh, red and green and white. Um, for a few years, I did the cream and gold and green. It was beautiful with white lights. It was beautiful, but it wasn't Christmassy for the grandchildren. So I went back to traditional. I have Santa Clauses and snowmen and bells and, you know, the what children like to do. Uh, favorite holiday craft and why? I don't... Um, craft for the holidays. When the girls were smaller, I used to do some crafts uh, like making bows or Christmas ornaments or stuff like that, but uh, when they grew up, I, I didn't do that anymore. Uh, favorite holiday memory? There Mom and Dad were not really traditional um, people, um, and we were lucky. After Dad got hurt uh, on the job and couldn't work anymore, we were lucky if we had turkey um, for a Christmas dinner. Um, and they just weren't um, sentimental people. They weren't uh, mm, traditional. Let me give you an example. And I don't mean anything bad or anything like for it, but this is just an example of uh, how traditional they are, were. Um, on December the 10th, after I had turned 17 in November, my mother had the 12th child. She was born on December the 10th. On December the 24th, uh, Dad had been working, trying to work somewhere. I mean, he tried to work, but he, after he got hurt, because he had to. I mean, he, there was nothing else to do, but he would have to try to work. And he'd come in from work, and it was Christmas Eve, and they decided to go Christmas shopping. I don't know. He must have gotten a little bit of money. I don't know. My dad was also a drinker. So... They go Christmas shopping on Christmas Eve. They don't come back until 4 o'clock Christmas Day. I've had the 11 kids. There was always three in diapers. And probably bottles. And um, my brother and sister that were next to me, I'm three years older than my brother and four years older than my sister. They didn't have to do anything. It was, I mean, all they did was torment me. <laughs> Um, they would torment the kids to make them fuss and cry, and they would torment me, and, and, um, so anyway, uh, Ricky would get coal in, uh, 
for the coal stove in the fireplace. I mean, it was cold. There was just no one. And, and I did the cooking and the cleaning and made sure the kids were clean because, I mean, that was my job. If I didn't do it, I was in trouble. So um, that, that was my Christmas Eve and Christmas Day for when I was 17. That's the traditions that my mom and dad, how traditional my mom and dad were. It is what it is. Um, it was okay. I mean, heck, it wasn't the first time I'd been left with kids. So, but I remember that one because it was the holiday. Okay. Oh, da, 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 da. What's the one holiday craft you'd love to receive? A holiday craft that I would love to receive. A beautiful Christmas wreath. That's. Hmm. Yeah, I guess a Christmas wreath. Oh no, I know. I would love a homemade tree skirt. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Oh, yes. I've used homemade quilts before as tree skirts. They make beautiful tree skirts. Uh, what's the one craft supply you hope to receive this holiday season? A big box of art glitter glue. Wouldn't that be fun? Art glitter glue. Big box. A crate. A crate of art glitter glue. Um, a hundred rolls of score tape. <laughs> My daughters usually get me, uh, gift cards for, um, Hobby Lobby and, um, uh, places like that for me to go to. What's the one treat you eat only during the holiday season? Pecan tarts. I love pecan tarts and I only make them through the holidays because I'm a diabetic and I tend to eat them until they are gone. I love them. So I only make them for Thanksgiving and Christmas. And um, peanut butter balls. I think some of you call them Buckeyes. We call them peanut butter balls here at this house. Uh, I make those only during the holidays. And I will eat on them. Um, I, I like homemade candies. But homemade old-fashioned fudge, peanut butter fudge, stuff like that. But I don't make them very often because I eat them. I eat them. Okay. What smells like the holiday season? I think I answered that in the um, apple cider and pumpkin spice and stuff. Favorite holiday paper pad? I don't really know because I've not been out shopping to see them. So only what you guys have showed on YouTube. And I think Santa Baby is very pretty, but I wouldn't know until I saw it for sure in, in person. What's the one craft you make for each uh, each year, each and every year for the holiday? Um, I don't make any crafts for the holidays. Um, I've made a few uh, cards or gift card holders for the kids, but not many. And um, what's your favorite holiday song? Uh, the Little Drummer Boy. I love that song. And now I need to tag someone. And I'm going to tag Lisa Farron. Gretchen at Cat and Paws. Jenna Mama. New Crafter Bev. And ladies, if you don't want to do this tag, don't do it. But it's fun to do. I thank you all for watching. Hugs to you from me, and God bless.